you know, it is such a good cause. And I think what's incredible is that American Express sold $150,000 worth of tickets tonight, and they matched it with $250,000. And then on top of that, net porte is going to be selling all of these dresses starting March 15th online. So they'll be raising even more money. And I just think that, you know, Naomi Campbell, to be able to pull off something this grand and this fabulous in such a short period of time is pretty spectacular. It's so weird to call it a cause when it's just, it's in the news and it's in the headlines every day. It's reality, you know, it's just, it's crazy. So I'm so glad that we're keeping it in the public eye because out of sight, out of mind, and we don't want that to happen because they need so much more help over there. I know they're auctioning off the clothes and they want to have a really nice show to show the clothes and you know it's for a really you know amazing cause all those people it's like very tragic and you know you, you know there's not a lot you can do for stuff like that you know you can't go there and like help and and stuff like that so like every little bit you know to raise money and stuff Agnes went down twice in her Burberry platforms, but she just laughed. I mean, I think it was, it was sort of funny and it, it kind of gave a slightly sort of light-hearted mood. Everyone's human, no one's superhuman, and you know, you're wearing high shoes, like, I don't know, you bet someone's bound to fall over. It's, it was funny and I laughed a lot, like a lot. Even this morning I was laughing and it was really fun. I think it was a really, a really good start of my fashion week because I, I feel really like smiley after that. It was really fun and um, you know the support of everyone in the crowd like clapping and like you know I wasn't embarrassed it's just like you know shit happens you just put, pick yourself up and you carry on you know it makes it better. The challenges in life once you overcome it you know you know it's uh, it's brighter on the other side. I thought it was spectacular. In fact, I was so lucky because I went backstage right before and I ran into Rachel Zoe, whose sister, Pamela, told me that a week ago she was at her son's bar mitzvah and they called her to ask her if she would do it. And she had about 50 looks and half of the celebrities couldn't even come until today. So she was styling them backstage. And I thought the outfit choice was so spectacular. I mean, every dress was almost a work of art. to be a part of this show and it is for a helpful helpful event and actually we are you know tell, tell it you know it's, it's bigger than just a regular fashion show and being a part of Brian Park Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week you know yeah. we're actually 
it, it's, it's, it's for a cause, you know, and we're able to raise money and to spread awareness and to let everyone know to help and donate because this is the world that we live in. We have to give back, no matter yeah. how great you are, you know. That's true. That's true. And this is something where people can see how fashion can help, you know. And we are very proud and we are just trying to help. And this is a really great event just to to help these people who really need needs of us, you know. But we are very happy, we enjoyed a lot the show and nothing just um uh, say congratulations to Naomi because this this like amazing Phenomenal. and everyone yeah everyone loved it and was really great energy. fantastic it was uh, exciting and you know a little bit nerve-wracking um, but wow it was it was really it felt like a blessing to be asked to be part of this so I'm happy we could make a difference They had the celebrities, they had pop singers, they had the designers themselves, they had Naomi, the Duchess of York. Um, they had Daphne Guinness who came down, she Mac was McQueen's muse and one of his very closest friends. And that silver crystal cat suit she was wearing, McQueen only finished it for her two weeks ago. And it was like a belated birthday gift from him to her. So it's probably the very last thing he ever made. So it's kind of fashion history. I think it was amazing and I thought it was a really incredible way that it also turned into a tribute to Lee McQueen and to see, you know, again, those six of those fabulous, fabulous outfits from his last collection was quite extraordinary. But what was really moving, I thought, was the Alexander McQueen tribute at the end, which just, I mean, it was so sad. I thought Daphne Guinness was going to just break down because it just really was upsetting. Thank you.